Hello, I'm Frankie McCamley. Some breaking news now, and three British tourists are missing following a fire on a boat in the Red Sea. Local authorities say 12 other British tourists have been rescued following the incident at the Egyptian resort of Mars Alam. The boat was on a sea cruise, and initial reports suggest the fire resulted from an electrical fault. Well, our correspondent Sally Nabil is in Cairo, and Sally, this news just coming in. What more, what more can you tell us? So far, the information are pretty sketchy, but what we know is that uh, the 12 British tourists rescued are all in uh, good condition and efforts are underway to search for the three uh, um, passengers who are still missing. There were um, 15 British passengers on board uh, this boat that uh, caught on fire for an electric fault, according to initial reports we're getting from the local sources there in uh, the Red Sea. And all in all, there were around 30 people on board this boat, including the um, uh, Egyptian crew. Uh, the British embassy is uh, here in Egypt is aware of this incident, and they are working uh, to uh, guarantee the safety of all the British nationals involved. And we know also that the prosecutor, prosecutors have already started an investigation to try and find out what exactly stood behind this fire. And the footage we're seeing on social media, they show that the fire was really huge. So is it just an electric fault or is there some sort of negligence or poor maintenance on board this boat? We still don't know yet. But um, the Red Sea Resort is a very famous destination for a lot of famous, to uh, for a lot of British tourists. And Mars Alam is um, a very uh, is one of the British tourists' favorite snorkeling and diving uh, destination. So uh, this is really bad news for the tourism industry in Egypt that depends on British tourists um, big time. So we, we, we will wait and see what the local authorities are trying to do about it. And you mentioned there were 30 people on board, uh, around a third of them British. Do we know much about the others? Are there any more people missing? Uh, no, we know that uh, the rest of uh, the rest of those on board were uh, Egyptian crew. Uh, they uh, all in all, as I said, they were nearly thirty, and everybody has been rescued, and uh, all of them are in good condition, according to the statement we're getting from the local authorities. But there are still three British tourists uh, missing, and rescue operations are still underway, as far as we know. But what's Oh, uh, what also what we need to find out is what happened exactly on board this boat and caused this huge fire because that will discourage many tourists and also many locals from going on uh, similar sea cruises which are very very popular in this part of the country and uh, we understand that they have spent a couple of days in the sea and they were supposed to go uh, to come back to uh, their hotels today so uh, investigation to find out the the reasons behind uh, this huge fire is quite critical and important to try and send a message of reassurance at least to those mm. uh, to tourists and those working in the tourism industry and we've seen on social media i've seen on social media some of the pictures of this boat on fire do we know has that fire been put out and how difficult is this rescue operation to try and find the three that are missing under, you know, the boats in the sea, uh, there's been a fire. You know, how dangerous is this rescue mission? Actually, as I said, information are, are still pr pretty sketchy. And usually the Egyptian authorities, they do not release much information. They do not provide the public nor the journalists with detailed information until the whole thing is over. So what we know is that everybody on board is in good shape. Uh, uh, and it is only those three people or three British passengers who are missing. How difficult it is to, to, to find them, how, what are the challenges facing the um, uh, rescue operations underway now, we still don't know yet because, uh, as I said, local authorities, they do not release much information, especially that this is a very critical issue for them. It's the tourist uh, season. It's a very famous tourist destination. So I think they will be very, very careful with what uh, with the information they release, and they will try to uh, to avoid um, 
uh, scaring other tourists from heading to Mars Alam. So what we know so far is, is, is not much, but uh, we understand that the authorities are holding an investigation and the rescue operation is being carried out. Okay, thank you very much, Sally Nabil. In Cairo, bringing us the latest on that breaking story that British tourists are missing following a fire on a boat in the Red Sea, and we'll be following that throughout the day.